Keeping Well at Home on Northeast Live. Are you ready to get that blood pumping? Today, Claire has got us shaking our tail feathers. And then we are going over to Richie, who has some fantastic practical tips on staying mentally well. Okay, everybody, shoulders back and down. Good posture, right on the edge of the seat. We can freestyle this as much as you want to. You can get up and you can move around as much as you want to. We need to have a shimmy here. And just start using the legs and the arms as a train. Freestyle, good posture. Should feel like we're better three to four out of 10. Start twisting. Good strong movement, arms are up, and twist it. Corn the head, jerk it in the middle. Corn the hair again. Bend over and shake the tail feather. Shake it back, we can do it high or low. Arms up to the ceiling and twist. Give me that shimmy now and comb the hair. Shake it in the middle. Comb the hair. Good strong movements with the arms. Shake that tail feather. Take it back to the chair. One, two. High or low. Arms up to the ceiling, looking good, and freestyle. You can go for a walk around, you can do this standing up or sitting down. Okay, keep twisting. Fly, and swim, and jerk. Into the monkey, monkey chicken. Mashed potato. Big finish. Five ways to well-being are practical things that you can do in your life to help protect yourself from mental health problems and maintain good well-being and stay happier in life. So one of these is called give. Um, and what give is about, it's about those acts of kindness that we give to other people. It's not selfish to do other things for other people. We get benefit from it as well. It's good for our well-being. It makes us feel um, happy. It makes us feel more confident, but it actually gives us more of a purpose in life as well. So it doesn't matter what it is, we've all got something we can offer to people, whether it's making a coffee for someone, whether it's running out to the shops for someone who's vulnerable. And obviously at the moment with things like coronavirus and the restrictions, we all need more, more kindness in our lives. I hope you enjoyed that episode of Keeping Well at Home. And if you'd like to know any further information, the details are on the screen now.